Regenerative agriculture practices involve minimum soil disturbance, maximum soil coverage through mulching, high management, and crop rotation. We are going to show you two of these principles as we plant yam without making heaps by using minimum soil disturbance and maximum soil coverage. Watch the full video to see how you can plant Nigerian yams without making heaps using zero chemicals. For more information, you can check out more of our videos on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page, Decapolis Community Development Center. You can also check out our website, www.decapoliscenter.org. For more information or for any questions, you can call our office line as seen on the screen, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays through Fridays, West African time. This is our yam field preparing a land for 2025. The first step is to uh, identify your planting station. So in this case, we are doing, um, we are going to test run another 120 by 75 centimeters. Last year we did uh, 75 by 60, which was effective. So we want to increase it and see where we'll have our maximum yield. We are currently marking our planting stations. Don't forget the importance of mulching on your field. You can see that the entire field is mulched. Mulch is always, always important as mulching solves uh, 90 to 95 percent of all your farming problems. Okay, so we are going to be planting yam, the Nigerian favorite yam. You start digging your planting station depending on the size of your of your seedling. Next is to select your seedling. You can see how big this is. We are using good seed. Seed is very important. We came with loads of more seedlings. You can see the size of our seedlings. Seedlings are very important in farming. The bigger, the better. My dad used to use something big as this. So I learned this from my dad. We are currently using a big seed. Most of you will go for something like this. So I think this is the point where the Bible said, whatever a man soweth, that he shall reap. So if you plant something tiny, expect something tiny. Then you transport your seedling to your planting station. This is called uh, Humban Kwase. This is uh, a Benin species. And we've dug our planting stations. And you can see all the planting stations. And this is well mulched. Okay, so we're going to be laying our yam. We'll be planting them. So after digging your planting station, the next thing is to apply wood ash. The wood ash will neutralize all these poisonous chemicals that you've injected into the soil. Remember, we are, what we are doing is 100% regenerative agriculture. This is a dead soil and we are working on bringing back this soil back to life. And in three years time, you'll be amazed at how much harvest we'll get from here. And you get your wood ash and then you sprinkle just five mil. This is more than enough this is more than enough for each planting station okay you don't need more than this and you can find this all over the place we love to teach recycling and without wastage okay so i get another one another five mil move to my next planting station and then i also do the same thing i just sprinkle this at my planting stations okay and always remember to yank off the bottom of your yam before planting it this will encourage the nematodes and the underground government to start acting on it quickly to enable it to decompose and this is why if you look at all our seedlings we yank off let me show you another seedling so you have to yank off the bottom of it okay so that the nematodes will start acting on it so the next stage guys is application of our organic fertilizer which is called compost you get 350 mils of this rich compost that we have actually made to learn how to make compost visit our youtube channel we have a whole video of how to make your organic fertilizer yourself this is cheaper than buying the conventional uh, chemical fertilizers so you get 350 mil of the organic compost and then after applying your wood ash, the next thing is pouring your compost in your planting stations. You see how rich this is now. This is regenerative agriculture and we are introducing life back into our soil. 350 at each planting station. So we'll move to the next planting station. 
so this means before we even plant our seed that means we have already injected enough fertilizer into the soil so this is how to pour your um, compost at each planting station this is very important this replaces the chemical fertilizer as this regenerates and give back life to the soil so the next thing is planting our yam at each planting station so this is our planting station we've applied wood ash and we have applied um, compost and you can see how we are laying the seed and now afterwards we now cover it with dirt you can see that this gives a thin layer of soil cover over the compost between the compost and the seed if there are leaves ensure you remove the, the leaves for seed to dirt contact is very important and after doing that what do we do next we now mulch it mulching is very very important to the success of all your farming you can see the accuracy of our stations okay because everything has to be done as standard standards cannot be compromised this is minimum soil disturbance and we are planting without ridges we are not making ridges okay we are not making any ridge to plant yam just like this conventional way of farming where you can see lots of land uh, massive land disturbance so we have planted our yam without the ridges you can see keep a day with us on the outcome of this thank you my name is Raphael, reporting for Equipping Farmers International and Decapolis, Nigeria. Thank you.